Authority Champions, I'm Manisha Gupta and today our focus is on one such currency which is very quietly taking the world by a storm. Yes, it is the cryptocurrencies. Let's talk about the price movement in the most widely traded cryptocurrency which is the Bitcoin. From 4.9 US dollars in March 2012 to $2,234 in July 7th is how we are trading. Remember the prices have gone all the way to 2,900 as well and it is a jump up of nearly 200% that we've seen coming for the currency. The global market value also saw a sharp escalation from $25 billion in April this year to a whopping $100 billion in the month of June itself. Clearly, the growth and global acceptance of cryptocurrency has been phenomenal. There are more than 800 Bitcoin ATMs in the United States, followed by Canada, which has about 179 Bitcoin ATMs. So where does India stand when it comes to cryptocurrency? There are, of course, regulatory concerns, but the major one is terror funding. The Supreme Court today asked the Centre and Reserve Bank to ensure that the virtual currency is not used for terror activities. The Apex Court has given a week's time, or rather four weeks' time, to government and the RBI to examine all security issues. The security concerns aside, the data suggests that the India's trade in cryptocurrencies is about 50 crores per day, but that's minuscule uh, versus to 20 to 30,000 by global exchanges together done on every single day. But is India ready to accept cryptocurrencies? Are Indians aware of bitcoins? Is it a safe investment option? We'll discuss all that in the next half hour. Let me welcome our guest on the show today. Joining us is Advocate N.S. Napinai. Also joining us is Vishal Gupta of searchtrade.com, Saurav Agarwal of Zeppay and Satvik Vishwanath of Unicoin as well. Gentlemen, hi. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, Mr. Napinai, let me start with you first. And, and it really is about, uh, you know, a, a lot of concern that the Indian markets has uh, as, as of now, we of course have the committee that has been put up by the ministry which is expected to come out with a report by July end. But with the Supreme Court now saying that it's giving the committee and the RBI four weeks to come out with security concerns, what is your sense? Is India gearing up and that is the reason we are looking at all the angles? Um, I would put it this way, uh, that India has to gear up. Because the, the world has gone ahead, there has been a lot of traction in terms of acceptance of cryptocurrencies, particularly uh, with respect to Bitcoin. A lot of that, as you rightly put it, has been the reason why the uh, volatility has happened with respect to the valuation. So today we are at a situation where RBI issued a circular in 2013 as a cautionary note. It reiterated it many years later in 2017 February. And thereafter, the uh, Interdepartmental Committee uh, hearings have taken place and the report is awaited. But uh, there is still no certainty in terms of how India is going to go. It's still cat on the wall with that, uh, with that regard. Sure is, yes, there's much. Uh... A decision has to be taken one way or the other because uh, there are a lot of Indians who have already invested in this uh, cryptocurrency. Uh, people have uh, exposed themselves. Have in, uh, so it, it's not fair to the public at large uh, that uh, there would not be uh, specificity with respect to how the law is going or intends to go. I think more than uh, it not being allowed, what the government is talking about right now is on how it should be allowed because as we understand there are various norms etc being talked about it and we also understand that several prominent banks have started research and development in this sense as well. So Satwe coming to you really, I mean the kind of number, the volume that we see in India is minuscule as you compare to the other countries like Singapore, Japan, US, Canada for that matter. Why is India lagging so behind? I think India started quite late as compared to other countries. Uh, so when we started Unocoin in 2013, so we were actually the first one to market in the way where we provided a trading platform and the wallet service. Mm. Uh, but if you see other countries, uh, see for example US, uh, it had the trading platform since 2011 itself. Uh, so on the other side, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, Indians are quite risk averse and uh, they need much more validation, it seems, uh, from the global markets before the clock on. 
so yeah, so so right now it's definitely uh, not even close to the countries like Japan, China, and US. You know, the, you know, the whole uh, concern, while of course on one side it is about the anonymity of uh, using uh, cryptocurrencies, but on the other side, that it, so it, it's a boon and it's a bane as well. How should an investor be looking at it, Satvik? Because on one side it is being, uh, uh, you know, uh, related to or uh, looked at in sense of gold as well. But while gold has a total acceptability world around, uh, would you say cryptocurrencies are really far away from that? Yeah, so, so cryptocurrencies, especially Bitcoin, derive a lot of properties uh, of the physical gold. So uh, again, when it comes to an investment, uh, so people should understand that it is quite uh, risky in nature. Uh, you know, I mean, in 2013, we have seen the price dropping by 80% overnight. But compared to that, uh, in, in recent years, uh, we have seen the volatility to be much more stable. But on the other side, we have also seen uh, the cost of uh, Bitcoin increase uh, year by year. So, but again, this cannot be the, uh, the indication for, the, uh, for how it could be in the future. Uh, but uh, right now, uh, I mean, we keep hearing uh, from US uh, you know, I mean, investment bankers and advisors that they can go for up to 1% of their personal wealth in Bitcoin. So, but anyway, as a part of Monocoin, we do not give any kind of investment. Uh, I mean, we keep hearing uh, from U.S. Uh, yeah, I mean, investment bankers and advisors that they can go for up to one percent of their personal wealth in Bitcoin. So, but anyway, as a part of Monocoin, we do not give any kind of investment ad investment advisors. Uh, but it is volatile in nature, and people should understand this risky investment. Well, absolutely. As you pointed out, the volatility has been really high. Uh, Mr. Nepal, just coming to you on to that one.